Kiss News or Mofrawi with me, Terence Nebua. Today on Kiss News, we feature Dr. Darren Saki, the 2010 Spelling Bee Champion, then Doctor, and now now a child in the 2021 Spelling Bee. In 2010, Darren Saki was the Spelling Bee Champion. On 22nd December 2020, the Spelling Bee Ghana reported that he is now a medical doctor. Dr. Saki shares lessons of this amazing journey with Mofrawi to inspire young people. Hello, my name is Dr. Darren Saki and most of you will know me as the 2010 Spelling Bee Champion. Yes, over a decade later and people still remember me for this achievement. It's quite surprising to me because I honestly would have thought that just a year after I'd won the competition, that would be it. It would be dead news. But um, it keeps making waves some way, somehow. And it just goes on to um, tell all of us that every single thing that you do matters into and contributes into your ultimate goal and so you shouldn't underestimate any competition or anything activity that you involve yourself in because it could open more doors for you um, people asking me how i won the competition i mean it involved a lot of hard work and consistency it may surprise you to know that it wasn't the very first time that i won i competed in 2009 and i was unsuccessful i went i came back um i was determined i did my um homework and decided to give it a try and fortunately for me and by the grace of god i won um on my second try and so that is another lesson that we have here for us, that failure shouldn't keep us on the ground. It should be something that should motivate us to even do better the next time. I could have stopped us, I mean, after I lost when I competed the first time, but I decided to come back again. And th th that's, that's another lesson that we must learn, which is resilience um, and determination because in life you may not always get it right the first time but then you should come back and you should try again um and i was also individually enrolled i was in a public school but i didn't let that deter me or i didn't make that seem as though i was incapable of um, winning so don't let your circumstances though you may be or it may seem that you're disadvantaged it means that you would have to put in extra work to get whatever you want to achieve. Um, as a fresh medical graduate, I mean, it's exciting. Um, it's a profession that a lot of people really uphold and it's a noble profession. And in my own way, I'm looking forward to contributing to the health sector. I mean, we all know of the challenges that we have, but I think that is always refreshing whenever somebody comes in very sick and um, with your expertise and skills, the person is able to smile again and it's better. It's, it's always a delight to, to, to do that. Um, another advice that I'd like to give to all children is that build very good friendships. Invest a lot in, in, in your friends and make sure that you're making the right friends. I think that's very important because your friends can make one make you depending on the kind of people that you surround yourself with and also every little thing that you do with the little opportunities um activities co-curricular um activities in your schools do well to involve yourself in because i mean the world is becoming such that it's not just about your academics which is very equally important but then also in order to be set apart from others you need to be involved in other things volunteering and whatnot so always make sure that you're making the most out of the little opportunities that come your way and give it your all 
um, and form good solid friendships network very well and i mean always i mean um, um, um hold strong onto your faith because i mean at the end of it all there's god that would drive us and give us the grace to excel in what we do thank you very much from kids news we say are you cool thank you for inspiring us May you climb higher. Have a great day, friends. Don't miss any of our shows on Mothra Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.